Paul Sudbury's Montine's Inferno is more than a book. It's a life-changing experience. His unique blending of truth, lies, and deception weaves an action-filled romantic mystery written from the heart. Taylor Blackmore, a young innocent architect, descends into an underground world of greed, sex, power, and love as he tries to discover the people responsible for the untimely death of his father, the great Montine, an artist whose overpowering artwork changed the face of Las Vegas, Nevada forever. Montine's greatest piece of art was a priceless golden statue cast from 500 pounds of solid gold that was buried in the sands of Las Vegas, Nevada for over 17 years. This statue contained a secret to Montine's death and reveals that Pandora's box of darkness hidden deep within every human soul. Truly, L. Sudbury proves that truth is stranger than fiction as we each discover something of our own inferno in Montine's Inferno. The imagination of every reader is captured in the first sentence of this page-turning epic romantic thriller. Six good men reach for the gold. A sharp bolt of lightning ripped from the darkness, revealing the powerful figure of a man standing next to a polished black limousine, orchestrating all their movements. He stood in perfect form, like Michelangelo's statue of David while shuffling three silver half dollars in his strong left hand. The coins were very rare and priceless. 1934 Liberty walking half dollars, the only misprinted pieces in that series to ever exist. And together, they held the mystery to untold wealth. Montine's Inferno is inspired by true events. The reader is drawn deeper into the story as it is discovered by Montine's son that the great artist had a secret. This story, told to me years ago by my father, did not reveal all. The secret surrounding this encounter merely began the mystery. Suddenly, as if the limousine had hit a wall, it stopped. Dust enveloped the vehicle. Montine grabbed the fat gunman's right wrist. His artist hand was like a vice. Instantly, Montine shoved his index finger into the moaning chubby man's left eye. A wet popping sound followed as the orbit filled with blood and the eye exploded from the screaming gunman's face. The reader's five senses are set on fire in this romantic thriller. Hunter, a lioness, sexy, beautiful, deadly. It seemed like an eternity since that day in front of Circus Circus. Montine had seen through her mask and why hadn't he touched her that stormy night out in the desert with all that gold in the limousine still puzzled her? She would have never been so sympathetic. If the roles had been reversed, she would have murdered him and everyone else out there to get the gold. That's what she loved to do best, kill. But deals are made and lives are destroyed as the reader discovers that a picture can paint a thousand words. Taylor stood up and slowly backed away from the Daily Journal in the box. He looked as if he were staring at a dead man. I wonder how the paper acquired this, Lou said with a smile. Lou could see the architect was nervous about the picture and began to ask questions. This wouldn't happen to be any of your handiwork, would it? Love is tender, sweet and deceiving filled with a hellish world of lies and deception. Taylor looked up at the top of the stairs he had created. There on the second floor stood Nicole. A long nightgown covered her seductive body, but one could see she was wearing nothing under the silky, transparent shroud. She vanished into the room. Finally, the reader discovers how a city full of glamour and lights covers and hides the constant conflict over power. The truth is, whatever happens in Vegas never stays in Vegas. Jack Jackson, a weasel in human form, the man responsible for killing Montine, a high society con man, a Napoleon puppet master who enjoys pulling the strings of destruction in his carnival of death. 
Jack Jackson, was dead, but he didn't even know it yet. With every breath I took, I stabbed at the man and the people that had created this pain. The death concluded and the room became normal again. Nothing remained but the hollow shell of my father. I was alone. Jackson, I yelled. The echo to my words ran through the building. Jackson, I swear with my life one day you will feel the sword of my anguish. Montine's Inferno, the book that reads like a motion picture. Are you ready for the journey?